In this video, we'll be converting between radical notation and exponential notation. So we have the fifth root of 32 to the fourth power. Well, just by definition, this 4 goes in the numerator, so 32 to the fourth, and the, the, um, the index here, that's the, the root that you have, that goes in the denominator. So it's 32 to the 4 fifths. So that's just the answer to that one, 32 to the 4 fifths power. And of course, you could, you could go on with that, actually. You could say the fifth root of 32 is 2, so you could say 2 to the fourth, and then that equals 16. So you could actually take that one all the way because it's, it's an integer that, that works out nice. Some of these others with variables, you can't do that. Okay, so real quickly, just to recap, that was... Uh, the fifth root of 32 is 2. And then I, so I left the fourth there, and then 2 to the fourth is 16. Now on the next one, we've got 5 uh, times the fourth root of y to the third times 2 times the third root of y. So let's do the, the same old game here. We've got 5 times y to the 3 fourths. Again, the 3 is, is the numerator, and the index here, the root, is the denominator in that rational exponent. Okay, we have that multiplied by 2 times y to the, if you don't see an exponent, it's implied that it's 1, so y to the 1 third. Now you can multiply 5 times 2. Well, 5 times 2 is 10. And then when you multiply these like bases, that's the y, these are the like bases, you add the exponents. You have 3 fourths plus 1 third. And after finding the lowest common denominator and such, you get 9 twelfths plus 4 twelfths, or that is 13 twelfths. So 10 times y to the 13 twelfths. All right. So that's that answer. This last one, there's just more going on, a little stamina here, but uh, we can do it. Just break it down. First, uh, simplify what's inside the parentheses. So when you divide like bases, you subtract the exponent. So that is 1 half minus 2 thirds. And after getting common denominator, then you have, that becomes um, 3 sixths minus 4 sixths. So that's a negative 1 sixth negative one sixth and, and we'll see what happens there in just a little bit so that is eight times x to the negative one sixth well a negative exponent makes that go back in the denominator so well, let's continue this this is all to the one third okay so that is eight over x to the one sixth and then all of this is raised to the one third now, what you do is apply this exponent to each of the numerator and the denominator. So 8 to the 1 third, that's the third root of 8, and that is equal to 2. When you raise an exponential expression to an exponent, you multiply the exponent. So that is like, let's see if I can give you some room here, that is like 1 sixth multiplied by one-third, multiply those exponents in this denominator here, and that gives you uh, one-eighteenth. So you have x to the one-eighteenth. So two over x to the one-eighteenth. I hope that helps.